Austin home values have dropped by $100,000 in just the last few months. Stay tuned for this market minute. We're going to break down what that means for you if you are a seller or a buyer or a current homeowner in Austin. So according to the latest stats from the Austin Board of Realtors, the median price for a home in Travis County was $550,000 in the month of September. Now this is about a 17.5% price decrease from the peak of the year in May when it was 659,000. Before you panic and think the market's crashing and the real estate industry is going kaput, here's what you need to keep in mind. We're seeing the price decreases because the feds have raised interest rates significantly and very drastically in order to curb inflation. Overall, this is a good thing. We don't want the prices in Austin to go out of control. Last year, they went up anywhere from 25 to 35%, which is crazy because normal is about 5%. So that type of growth is just not sustainable. Now, even though the prices have come down overall in the last few months, year over year, they're still up. We are about 9% appreciation when you look at that 550 number compared to what it was a year ago in 2021. So there's still overall healthy growth, but it's not as crazy as it was last year. Now, most of our sellers, when they're selling, have owned their home for many years. And if you bought back in 2020 or prior to that, you've made a fortune in just a short amount of time. So you can use the equity that you have and then buy now when the prices are a little bit discounted, there's less competition, less multiple offers. Many of our sellers are taking advantage of that. They're selling the homes that they don't fit their needs anymore and getting into something that they really love. Now, if you're a buyer who's moving to Austin, you might be thinking, well, what if the prices keep going down? Should I just wait for them to drop further or is now a good time to buy? Here's what you keep, need to keep in mind. If you're not buying a home, will you be paying rent? Rents have gone up drastically. So either way, you might be paying a high rental payment or a mortgage payment. If you can comfortably afford a mortgage payment now and you can get a home that you love and it's in the right neighborhoods, then take advantage of the opportunity right now. You have tremendous negotiating power. There's hardly any multiple offers. You can even get the sellers to give you a credit in many cases at closing. You can use that credit to buy down your interest rate to make your monthly payments even lower. So you can take advantage of this market because you're not in that craziness that we saw in the spring where everyone was competing in multiple offers. Now, we don't know when interest rates will come down. Some experts are thinking it'll be the end of next year, um, but we really have no way to predict that. I do predict though that once interest rates start coming down, then the buyers who were waiting to buy will re-enter the market and start buying again. There's a lot of buyer demand, people just sitting on the sidelines wanting to see what's going to happen. So again, if it makes sense for you to move now and you actually need a place to live, then you can take advantage of the opportunities now in this market because there are some incredible deals out there. Now, lastly, if you are a homeowner who just bought your home in the spring of 2022 and you're thinking, I timed it all wrong and I way overpaid for my home, calm down and don't panic. Real estate is always the safest long-term investment you can make. So hang on to the home that you just bought. Enjoy it, live in it like you planned on doing. Most of our buyers are planning on staying in their homes five, 10 years. So hang on to your home. Prices will continue rising. We still have a very healthy economy and a healthy market here in Austin. So don't panic, just hang on to your home a few years and that appreciation will keep growing. Every situation in real estate is hyper local and it's personal to you. So if you have questions about whether or not you should sell, how much equity you currently have, or whether or not you should buy, reach out to us and we can do a quick one-on-one -on -one meeting to help figure out your needs and sort through the options that are there for you. You can also hit subscribe if you love our content. We have weekly content that we'll put out on our channel.